Good morning, brothers and sisters. Forgive me for my cold while I get through this. Um, just giving you a little bit of an update. I still haven't found my cousin, Christopher. Um, they've resumed uh, the ground search and widened the search area with search and rescue. So please keep him in your prayers. And um, this morning I'm going to read uh, John 17, um, which is Stephen Corson's favorite scripture, or one of his favorites. And um, this is for you, Stephen. Have a wonderful day with Jesus. John 17. These words spake Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on on the earth I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do and now O father glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was I have manifested thy name unto the man which thou gavest me out of the world thine they were and thou gavest them me, and they have kept my word. Now have they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. I come, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I kept, I have kept, and none of them is lost. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to thee, and these things I spake in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am, I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest taken them out of the world, but thou, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through my truth. Thy word is truth. And thou hast sent me into the world. Even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, 
even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them.